we want that soil to be cool. The old rule has been 50 degree soil temp and falling, and we would agree with that. So apply your nitrogen as late as possible to get it to hang around as long as possible. But the form makes a lot of difference too. When you apply anhydrous, for example, it goes to the ammonium form and ammonium is positively charged and it will lock up with negatively charged soil. On the other hand, putting liquid 28% or urea out in the fall, you've got a much greater chance that it's going to convert over to nitrate more quickly. We don't want that. So honestly, our rule is, sure, we'll put on ammonium sulfate or anhydrous in the late fall. We do not do urea or liquid 28% in the fall, other than maybe at very, very, very small rates. Well, going through with the combine this fall, we definitely saw yields up and down throughout fields. And that's really how it always is. You never see, well, we just have the exact same yield in every part of the field. That's why it's important as you're doing soil testing to look at those different areas and set up a variable rate application map. So if you've got an area that yields 300 bushel corn versus an area that yields 200 bushel corn, you're not putting on the same rates of fertility, especially the same rate of nitrogen.